Hi guys, welcome back to the Chris Angler or Kid Angler uh, Kitchen. Today uh, we are making a delicious vegan red lentil curry. Um, it's a very delicious and simple meal. Um, on, this, on my channel I'm going to be trying to make um, uh, dishes for um, dishes for the different diets uh, and uh, yeah, different diets, maybe, maybe allergies as well. Well first, I'm starting with vegan here. Uh, the ones on the top of my head, I'm going to be definitely be making vegan as I am today. Keto um, dish dishes, um, vegetarian dishes, and carnivore, uh, carnivore um, diet, uh, diet. And then if uh, some, uh, if you have an allergy, actually comment down below on this video. If you do, got, uh, if you guys do have an uh, allergy, comment down below, and I will make a very, very nice and tasty dish. Uh, without, let's say, your um, lactose intolerant, um, I, I'll make like, let's say, pancakes w uh, without mi milk and add like a substi uh, substitute. So, like, nice, taste, uh, tasty um, recipes. But today I'm making delicious red lentil, no, delicious vegan red lentil curry. And I guess for this recipe, you'll need. You will need, um, we'll start off here. You're gonna need about five centimeters of, um, tumor, uh, not turmeric, um, it's gonna only have ginger, sorry, <laughs> ginger, sorry. A garlic, four cloves, um, tofu, uh, actually, yeah, delicious vegan red lentil curry with tofu. Um, so, tofu here. Um, I'm using plain tofu without anything not smoked or any uh, anything, just normal tofu. Um, it's a substitute today for uh, chicken. Uh, well, yeah, ch chicken because you would normally have chicken uh, into curry. Or you can just make this dish without tofu or without chicken. Um, and yeah, so tofu, I have about 400 grams of tofu. I have some uh, olive oil, which I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using Polycala olive oil here. Um, it's my favorite brand of olive oil, straight from Greece. Uh, responsible, um, reputable source. Uh, sorry, it's uh, it's just really good olive oil, straight from Greece. Uh, so, one hundred and fifty grams of uh, red lentil here. I have half a lemon of juice here. There we go. Uh, some co uh, coconut milk. Um, 400, uh, 400 grams of coconut milk, 400 grams of tomato, and uh, 300 grams or 400, 300 uh, grams of vegetable broth here, homemade. Um, one, tea, one teaspoon of uh, pepper, pe uh, pe no, not pepper, um, using pepper, salt, um, gram masala. These are all a t uh, teaspoon of uh, ingredients. Then um, cumin, the uh, uh, turmeric, and I have two teaspoons of curry powder. Of uh, uh, yeah, curry powder. I have mild curry powder because my my family doesn't really like spice. Me me too. Not not really. It's um, I I just uh, prefer a little milder. If you do, uh, if you guys do want spicy, uh, add add um, spi I guess spicy curry powder, and uh, yeah, that's it. Four cloves of garlic, and I guess I've gone through everything. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna place all my ingredients over there, so it's easier to manage uh, all the ingredients, and I'll catch you guys there. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, my pan's preheated. Uh, pre Olive oil. Uh, and if I do remember uh, what uh, me or my dad are editing this video, I will try to put uh, Polycala in the de uh, description. It just uh, came on my head. I will try um, if I can. All right, let's go. So first, we're gonna put in our four cloves of garlic. And uh, now, 
ginger. On second thought, I might add a bit more olive oil. Right then, perfect. Um, all right, so fry that off a bit. I'll put it down a bit. Alright, perfect. Now add our 400 grams of tofu. Like I said, you can use it as a substitute for chicken. Pass the tofu in. Fry it off a bit here as well. Just so it soaks in all the flavor from the garlic and the ginger as well. Alright, uh, perfect. So now onto our spices. Pepper. You can also use fresh, um, fresh ingredients, um, fresh cumin, fresh turmeric. But if you're using that, make sure you add it with the ginger and the garlic first. I, I, it's pretty hard to get uh, fresh ingredients like that, uh, so I, I can't use them. So I'm using dried ingredients. Now a curry powder. Mix that up. Now, our vegetable broth. Vegetable broth in here. Perfect. And there we go. Vegetable broth. Let that heat up for a second here. And then our lentils, red. chopped tomatoes mix that around as well this already looks good I can I can tell it's gonna be really good tell me this all right mix, mix it mix it and then uh, you're gonna put the cover on um, cover on and mix it every five minutes or so, about every five minutes or so, um, for 25 minutes. Make sure it's not on a too high heat and make sure you don't want the raw go, go for a walk in the park. Um, stay near, near the pan, mix it every five minutes. Yeah. All right guys, so that's been 25 minutes. And I'm just gonna take off my cover. Always watch out when you do this. You can, also, you can get burnt as well. All right. So, this is what it should look like here. Kind of like a, not a wet con consistency, but like a, a firm consistency here, as you can say. As you can say. Right, there we go. So now we're gonna add our coconut milk. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna put the cover back on. First mix it a bit. And then for about five minutes, you're gonna put the cover back on and for about five minutes, you're just gonna leave it. So I'll catch you guys in five minutes. Alright, so that's our five minutes.
done here. Just mix it around a bit, as always. Alright, so now half um, half a lemon worth of juice. Alright, mix it around. Turn it off and leave it to cool down for about a minute. And be careful when you're eating it, uh, if you're eating it straight after you cooked it because uh, it will be hot, so be careful. Yeah! Alright guys, so now we're going to try our um, red, vegan red lentil curry with tofu. And yeah, alright. That, that that isn't bad it's wow if you guys are f <laughs> if you guys are afraid of it being spicy um don't don't really be because I kind of tasted uh, it uh, I uh, tasted a bit before I added the coconut milk in it was really spicy but then I added in the coconut milk now it just tastes really really um delicious it is a bit spicy it's curry but um it, it, uh, it's it's just really really good uh, it, blew, it blew my mind <laughs> really tasty um so red vegan red lentil uh, curry with tofu it is delicious um make sure you guys try this recipe um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and if you did try this recipe comment down below like subscribe comment and catch you later Mm-hmm.